Yo, so welcome everybody to the DJ Connect Live. Every Wednesday we take over something. If anyone has any questions, always drop them in the comment box. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button, smash the heart button, uh, and we're going to get right to it. So I'm just working in Serato here, but literally you can do this across any platform. It doesn't matter which platform you use. Nadesh in the building. What's up, brother? Um, so it doesn't matter which software you use. I'm just using Serato, but they're all the same. Uh, it might have like a little bit of a difference to getting it um, enabled, but it's, it's all going to be the exact same. All the functions are going to work the same. Um, so for Serato, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your Serato, and then you're going to hit this button here, the settings button. Hit settings up here. Um, go to expansion packs which is, um, these are all of your available expansion packs. So for some of these things, you'll pay for them. Uh, some of them you can get for free, like the samplers for free, but you just come here and you enable the sampler. Like when you first get it, the sampler will not be enabled. You have to enable it over here. Uh, other stuff I have, I got Serato video, um, Serato playlist. That's kind of um, a plugin for Twitch. If you're using Twitch, you can have it pull the data and then show up on your Twitch, an awesome little plugin. It's free. Serato remotes, if you're using an iPhone, you can use your phone to DJ with. Uh, pitch in time is, is next level. If you don't got pitch in time, make sure you get pitch in time. It should be included with most softwares, uh, but you can actually get it for like external use. It's the greatest thing that's ever been created. This is why all of the DJs use Serato um, because of pitch in time. The way that they do this is so much better than anything else. Um, it's just, it's, it's, it's the best um advantage for serato like when you're using other softwares um it's when you pitch the sound up like if you go plus eight you can barely even tell that um the, the that you're plus eight because it does it keeps the pitch in time with the um the the transfer of the bpm it's amazing uh but we're going a little off topic here we're just going to deal with the sampler uh, i can go over any of that stuff after if anyone has any questions about those plugins just drop it in the comments and i will definitely answer it um, but yeah, so for the sampler, now that we've enabled it, we went here, expansion packs, enabled it. You come up here. Uh, I don't have my little button on, but right here, you'll see it. It's right beside the record effects sampler right here. Uh, I'm just going to use the B bank because I've already put other stuff in my banks and we're just going to start fresh. Um, and then from there, you just need sound effects essentially. Um, so let's get these club killer effects right here. Uh, I'm just bringing it into my Serato. Normally, I would just do it right from files, but just so I can close this window off so I'm not confusing anybody, I just pulled the folder here with all of my samples, went to files, and now they're in here. So here you can kind of like, you can you can vet them. You can see if you like them. Perfect. If you listen to my videos, you know that's one of my uh, my go-to samples, per Street Fighter 2. Perfect. Uh, game up. Uh, and you just find your effects like there's so many effects out there if anyone doesn't know where to get effects definitely uh shoot me a dm i have an amazing offer that like will change the game i'll give you all of my personal effects everything i got goes to you uh, i don't like to hold everything above people so i'll just give you whatever i got oh we got dj t-rex in the building cedric thompson the dad the dad of dj t-rex Nadesh in the building. He's good. David Beal, if you're still here, what's up? What's up? Uh, Tobias Hot Tech. DJ Hot Decks in the building. Uh, it's hard for me to use. It's hard to use for me pitching time because I don't see how it affects the BPM. Um, well, it like it doesn't affect the BPM. It keeps it in the same pitch. Like you can go plus eight and it'll keep it sounding like the original track. Um, if, if you've ever plus eight, like if you turn it off and then go plus eight, you're going to sound like, um, like chipmunks, like what it used to sound like back in the day, but with pitch and time, you can actually go up to like plus eight plus 10. You can really push it if you want and keep it sounding like the same. So it's not a different track. You're keeping it sounding like the original track. Lou Paris in the building. What's up, brother? Um, back to sampler. So you just, you get your samples. If you guys need help getting samples, definitely shoot me a DM, but you get all of your samples loaded up. You figure out what you like. That's a laser gun. That's not really my sound. 
That's me. I like that kind of sound. So what you do is you pull your sample into the bank and then this bank now becomes the pads on your controller. So once you go into sampler mode, you get these uh, banks here and then you're set. So you can see here, there's this little bit of a gap. You guys probably can't see it on the video, but this is going to start like a millisecond back. I want this to start on the cue point. So it's immediate. Like I don't want it starting back where it shows. Good thing there's already a cue point there. What you do is you hit the settings for this sample, this one sample here. You hit the settings and you start it from the cue point. So instead of it starting from the start, it's now starting from the cue point. Uh, and you can like set, you can pitch and time it here. Like if you don't want it to sound wanky, uh, you can you can change the BPM. Like I can slow it down. I can way slow it down if I want. You can speed it up. You can do anything, anything that you can do to like a real track now. This is now becoming like a real track in there. But because it's just a sample for me, I just want it to be a sampler. So I'm going to speed it back up. It's just going to be a one sound effect at the cue point. Um, drop that off. There are a few other um, settings that you can do. You can have it loop if you want. And it didn't loop. Let's. Oh, because it's in the player. Now it'll loop. Sorry. Yeah, when it's running through the sampler now, it's gonna loop endlessly. So I don't know. If, I don't know who would use this, but some people can. Um, if if you like, obviously. And then there's also you can set it so you have to hold the button. If you want it to keep playing, you you have to hold the button. And that's just a setting. That's the uh, that's like the um, horizontal line with two stop because it's a start and stop. And if not, it's a playthrough. And then it'll stop after. That's that's the normal setting that most people will keep it on. You just want it to run it one time, and that's it. Run one time through, and that's it. Uh, I'm gonna check the chat real quick. Tevin DJ Ice in the building. What's up, brother? Olin D Taylor, DJ Sins from Connecticut. Paul Chonko Sr., Chris Galbraith in the building. What's up? Benny Hill theme as a sampler in case a fight ever breaks out. That's next level. That's next level. Wow. I like that. I like that. That's that's amazing. What he's saying here. Uh, if you guys don't understand, he has the Benny Hill theme song, which is like, I think it goes like, so that if a fight ever breaks out, he's just got to hit the button, and then immediately that sound is going off. Those people are going to sound like idiots because now they're fighting to like a cartoon song. And it's funny. Um, but yeah, like once, once you set that up, um, I think what's really important here is to use sound effects in um, uh, as like seasoning, like the salt and pepper on your song. You don't want to use this all of the time. A lot of people are always just like hit, hitting the button. <laughs> A lot of people will do that and that's like that's not helpful i use sound effects a lot but you have to use them very tastefully you don't want them to overpower the music you don't want people to get annoyed and trust me a lot of people especially who aren't in the dj culture like they'll think that the um the air raid sound that's that's a cool sound like everyone loves that let's see if i have it here everyone will say that because they know it but if you're dropping that all of the time over and over again people will get annoyed. So you want to really tastefully use sound effects. I know when I started, I was always hitting the sound effect button because I knew how to do it. And it was something that I knew how to do. Um, but a lot of people will get annoyed by that. So you just want to know that you're using it very tastefully and you're not you're not just shooting it off for any reason. Um, but yeah, and, and, and that kind of comes down to like beat matching too, like knowing when stuff is on time you want to you want to drop these sound effects on time like i'll usually drop something right before a big drop or like on the big drop whenever it's it's a a time when they're like there needs to be a little bit of filler and it's gonna like set me up for something else that's when i use sound effects um but apart from that i think the only <laughs> sorry <laughs> I think the only uh, tip I have passed there is to like kind of know where your sound effects are. I put all of my 
sound effects together like all the air horns are going to be together with the air horns i'll put the lasers together with the lasers uh, and what i just did there is i ejected that sound effect so if you want to get rid of it you either just drop a track on top of it you drop another sample on top of it or you eject it with this button here um and other than that i think that's pretty much it um i'll check the comments if anyone has any more questions definitely drop some questions but uh yeah, I'm just going to check out what stuff I have here. Oh, that's a classic. That's a classic. The Trap Siren. Uh, we've heard that one. Air Horn Blast. We got that. Yeah, and, and, and sound effects like these, these kind of fillers, these sounds that just like can move the mix through, You, this is a way to keep stuff really clean. Like you don't all of the time want to be hitting air horns and the big blast and like the sirens going off. Sometimes you just want to keep it really clean. Like if you're having a blend, everything is nice. You just drop this on the blend very in the back. Like it's not something that's overpowering. It's just that salt and pepper, that extra spice that you're giving out there. White noise. White noise is like really good to have. I'll see if I have. Um... Oh, and here's an upper. So we got uppers and downers. So. For something like that, I would be using that going into a big drop. Uh, and this one goes down. So you can get white noise, you can get up, down, um, shooters, phasers, stuff like that. Those are all like really good sound effects to get. Uh, if you guys don't know where to get sound effects, shoot me a DM. I have an incredible offer going on right now for my group. Uh, if you join the group, you get all of my stuff for free. I give you all of my sound effects, all of my music, acapellas, instrumentals. Uh, it's a deal you can't refuse. Doesn't look like we have any other questions in here. Brandon DJ Smooth B in the building. Um, yeah, if you guys have any more questions, just drop them in the comments and I will text you after. But it looks like we're good to go. Nice seeing you guys. It's Wednesday. I hope everyone's going after their goals right now. They're making everything happen. Let's go, fam. Let's <laughs> go.